Okay, so you finished your artwork and now you want to make some sort of shape and delete everything else outside of that shape. So hopefully you did your artwork on different layers because you should always do your artwork on uh, separate layers. Just swipe on them and make it a group. And duplicate the group. This way you have your art on separate layers just in case anything happens or you want to change it. If you use too many layers and you can't duplicate all the layers, then just duplicate the whole project. Just flatten your new artwork. So now we have uh, just, just one layer of artwork here. Make a new layer above it. Go to the selection tool. Um, let's say you want it to be a, cir a circle. So now I'm in my selection tool, I'm in ellipse. And I'm making my circle. I'm going to hold my finger on the screen just so it's a perfect circle. Now it doesn't have to go on him uh, the, way we, the way we want right now. We're just making a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be lined up with uh, whatever you want it to be just yet. So I'm going to use white and I'm just going to fill our circle. Lower the opacity to about, you know, 20%. As long as you can see through it, it's fine. Now I'm going to use the transform tool and I'm just going to make it now you can you can really put it to where you want your art to be. Okay, so that's pretty good. Make it a little bit smaller. So that's what I want. So I'm just going to tap on that layer, hit select. So now the circle that we just made is selected. And I'm going to go to the layer with our art. I'm going to three finger swipe down and I'm going to hit duplicate. So now I'm going to hide the circle, hide our original art, and we just have this circle with our art. And if you wanted just a circle, like if you wanted a PNG or a logo or something like that, just get rid of the background layer as well. And then you just have this circle. And you have to save it as a, a PNG. That way the background is completely transparent. Uh, you would do the same process for any shape. Uh, take your paintbrush or however you want to make your shape, draw your shape, draw your shape, fill it, and then lower the transparency so you can see through whatever the shape is that you want. You can make it bigger, like that. So now go to that layer again, hit select, because you want to select the shape. Um, you can hide this layer too. You don't have to have this layer visible. Once you select the shape, you can just hide it. Go to your art layer, three finger swipe down, and you can do duplicate. Now I'm going to hide that bottom layer. And now you have your shape here. There's a lot of brush stamps that you can use. So, for example, I have some free stamps. So let's say you wanted to use a heart. So I'll make the heart pretty big. Make a new layer above, which I always forget to do at first. And now I'm going to stamp my heart. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. That's good. So now I'm going to lower the opacity. Make sure that it's where I want it to be. You can move it around, make sure it's where you want. And now I'm just going to select this shape. So now it's selected. I can go ahead and hide that layer. I can go to our art layer. And I can do duplicate. And I'll hide this and we have our heart with our fish inside the heart. So you can do this for any shape. Um, there's other ways to do it with a clippy mask, but I don't really understand them. So I never do it that way. I just do it this way. And you always have your original art, and you also always have your art. That's the cat scratching, because she loves to be loud when I'm trying to record. And always keep your art with its separate layers. You always want to have a backup of your art in separate layers, just in case. Because you might do this with the heart and then realize that you want this to be a different color. You know, so then at least you have the ability to go ahead and make another shape and 
you, you want to make sure that you can change everything anytime you want. So it's always good to make a copy of your original layers. And just as another option, another thing you can do is let's say you have your shape here and you have your background. You can also select it, hide it. You can go to the art layer and then you can go cut and paste. So the only difference between cut and paste is now your artwork has this missing in it. So, But there might be some fun things that you can do, like you can bring that layer up top. You can bring the background layer up top and then you can like, you know, there might be some cool effects that you can do with that. Let me bring back the background layer. You know, so there's lots of different options. You could always make a new layer underneath and let me go to a regular paintbrush here. You know, and then you still have access to like all this space underneath, you know, if you want to make something interesting. I'll make the background to white. So there's lots of cool things you can do. Uh, you can always move this around. So there's lots of cool effects you can do. Uh, really simple to delete anything you want around it. Hopefully that was helpful. I meant this to be quick, but I always get carried away and do more. So, um, But I'm seeing this a lot in my group, so I just wanted to do a quick video on how I select things and then delete everything outside of it. I'm going to end it there. All right. See you guys in the next one. Thank you.